Hi, this is Eleanor Bravo, and we are at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, and today we will be visiting with Dr. Jonathan Wolf and seeing an incredible show called First Friday Fractals. Thank you so much for coming to First Friday Fractals. I've been doing this show for almost three years now, and I just love this. I have so much fun. It's my favorite time of the month. I get to be a mathematical rock star, have a sold out theater of people screaming and cheering for the beauty of math and science. So what is a fractal? A fractal is a never ending pattern. It's a shape or a pattern that repeats itself at different scales. It's made up of little copies of the same shape. So is this microscopic? It can be. We explore fractals, both fractals in nature and fractals that we make in a computer. So we can render fractals using algebra in a computer and zoom into them very, very deep. In fact, smaller than any normal microscope would let you go. So for instance, we zoom the audience into these mathematical fractals to a depth that is a million times smaller than a single atom. Okay, so an atom is about, well, it's about one ten billionth of a meter in diameter, and we go a million times smaller than that. So a millionth of a billionth of a meter. It's really amazing. So this is high technology. It is. I've been exploring fractals for a bunch of years, and I've been waiting for computers to catch up and get fast enough to allow us to do this. And now they finally are, and we can generate incredible zooms that are very, very high resolution and very, very deep. It still takes weeks or months to render the fractals on many, many computers, but um, we have the technology that lets us do it. So, um, my name is Jonathan Wolf. I'm the executive director of the Fractal Foundation. If you'd like to learn anything more about our activities and what we're up to in the community using fractals to inspire interest in science, math, and art, please visit our website, www.fractalfoundation.org. You can join our email newsletter um, on our website, find out about all kinds of fun stuff. And also, uh, I'm very grateful to the uh, Museum of Natural History and the Museum Foundation for allowing us to do this extraordinary show in this beautiful facility here. There is no other place in the world where you can see a full dome fractal show like this. There's nothing like it anywhere. So, thank you, Albuquerque. This is a very, very amazing thing. All right, let's jump on in and enjoy some fractal. largest fractals in nature are spiral galaxies, hundreds of thousands of light years across, hundred billion stars in a typical galaxy. And there are billions and billions of these galaxies. It's really quite mind expanding. And everywhere you look out in space, if you look deep enough, you'll find spiral galaxies.
play a math and science. It was this the first time you'd seen it? Yes. Thank you. What did you think of the practical show? It was awesome. I loved it. It spoke to me of uh, uh, intelligent designer. It's just scientific proof of intelligent designer. Is this the first time you've seen it? Yes. Thank you. I love it. What did you think of the show? I actually loved it. It's fascinating. I, I would actually like to know more because it uh, obviously is a new realm of creation I've never known about before. <laughs> so is this your daughter? Yeah. I can tell what you thought, Sue. What did you think of the show? Pretty good. I really liked the practice. No, it was spectacular. In fact, I, I hope more people come out and see this. It was, it was really uh, amazing. Thanks very much. Thank you. How did you like the show? I liked it very much. It was like nothing I have ever seen ever before. I'm shocked and amazed and everything. It's amazing and I hope everyone comes and sees it. It was cool. We're learning about that kind of stuff in math and getting extra credit to come. So I had to come check it out and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> was it what you expected? Yeah, it was awesome. It was yeah. like it was trippy, like how it seemed like you're falling in stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is my third time seeing it, and every time it's, it changes up, so it's not like you're seeing the same thing. It's, it's really cool. I, I really enjoy it. It was so spectacular, and as the man said, this is the only one in the world that you can see this amazing film. He's really dedicated. I encourage everybody to come here. Thank you. Thank you.